there are two types of lipids. There's saturated and there's unsaturated fat. At room temperature, saturated like butter is solid and unsaturated like oil is liquid. Saturated is Latin for full of. In this case, it's full of hydrogen. And unsaturated because it has a double bond, it has lesser hydrogen, so it's less hydrogen than saturated. When they say the term, you are what you eat, it does apply. If you eat a lot of butter, fast food, and greasy food, then your membranes are going to be composed of mostly saturated lipids. Whereas if you eat the healthy oil with fruits and vegetables and all those good stuff, then your body will have a lot of unsaturated lipids in your membrane. Let's see how this can affect us. Let's for example think bacon. When you cook, it's very oily, but the moment it's cooled down to room temperature, it becomes very greasy, and that's what happened to your membrane as well. Where are lipids found? Lipids are found in your membrane, and membranes, unsaturated lipids if you eat a lot of unsaturated stuff. But if you eat a lot of saturated stuff, what will happen at room temperature? Your body will start to solidify. Your membranes in your cell will tend to solidify at room temperature if you eat a lot of saturated fat. If you eat a lot of unsaturated fat, your membranes tend to be soft and liquefied, whereas if you have a lot of saturated stuff, your membranes tend to be hard and greasy. So, what happens at room temperature for your membranes when you eat these types of food? Well, where are membranes found? Membranes are found everywhere. So if you eat a lot of saturated stuff, saturated fat, at room temperature, your membrane tends to solidify, which can cause clogging and less blood flow, which may lead to heart attack. Heart attack is known as the number one death in America, and heart attack is linked to fast food. So now we know how heart attack is linked to have fast food and that's biology biology helps explains how so stay away from saturated fat it's a killer because it's gonna tend to solidify at room temperature just like butter so you tend to get a lot of clogging and your blood flow will decrease so protect yourself and protect your children, your siblings. Tell them to stay away from fast food. We already know it's bad for you. Now we have learned why it's bad for you. Let's learn a little bit about unsaturated fat. Why is unsaturated fat doesn't solidify at room temperature? Well, if we look here, saturated fat has a lot of hydrogen. So we see that it's very straight and therefore the phospholipid bilayer tends to easily be closer to each other and therefore will tend to solidify. Whereas unsaturated has a double bond so it creates a kink which looks like this and our phospholipid bilayer now is no longer straight it tends to be a little bit broken up it tends to be more fluid or more liquid at room temperature than compared to saturated fat. So stay away from fast food and try to find an alternative.